What is up, Terra Classic community? Welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm doing another update on the Terra Classic token. We know that as none other than ticker symbol, Lunic. I do gotta let you know I'm not a financial advisor, never WhatsApp anybody in my comments, but do remember to drop a big like on this video as it will help get exposure on the Terra Classic project, the Terra Classic burns, and the Terra Classic community. Also, do consider subscribing as it will keep you up to date on cryptocurrency news and you can even win some NFTs in the process. I actually wanna make an announcement. This is my up and coming NFT collection that will be launching the 6th of January, but there will be some juicy royalties that is involved with this project. You can use the links in the description to check it out. You will be able to connect your wallet, see your NFTs and your distributed royalties from this collection. So don't miss it. It actually does have a token. I actually did do the NFTs for this token, in fact, that is actually doing pretty well. Super degenerative play, but if you are into the high risk, high reward plays, this one is actually a pretty decent one to look into as this one actually does build up in your wallet without you even having to stake it. If you did want to look into this project, you can use the links in the description, but I did want to thank a very good subscriber of mine I am actually making this video for him. He did post in my comments on my last video and was asking for me to make a Lunic update. So this one is for you. I want to thank you for being a good subscriber. I just want to dedicate this video to you. Let's get into the day. Does look like Lunic Classic is in uh, top 100 still, top 50 even, uh, ranked number 40. So despite everything that it's been through, it does hold its pretty strong does hold pretty strong looking at the uh, three zeros 150 range right now 200 million traded over the last 24 hours uh, it does look like uh, 200 million of that has came out of the centralized exchanges decentralized exchanges does account for 458,000. mark cap sitting just under a billion at the 895 million range we haven't pushing downwards lately but consumer confidence does remain high across all the major exchanges binance and kucoin kraken and see these are the bigger exchanges top five exchanges uh, does uh, really account out of three major exchanges so pretty pretty, pretty good information to know uh looking at some information that we do have uh holders do actually continue to climb it does look like twelve thousand ninety holders since the last time i've checked it out this has a really climbed in holders considerably so very good to see looking at investor observer we do have a 63 i will refresh that so you guys know that this is an up-to-date score but we are actually scoring in that top half of cryptocurrencies again looking moderately bullish uh scoring higher than 61 percent of cryptocurrencies in the short term very good to see uh bottom half in the long term but uh not horrible not not horrible indicators right here uh slightly bearish risk gauge looking neutral that does appear to be what we have from investor observer but if we do head on over to coin codex uh we do get some pretty nice price predictions they are pretty bullish in the next three months it does look like uh six months they're not expecting a whole lot but uh three zeros with the three i would definitely take that one we did get a massive update binance the world's largest crypto exchange by trading volume has announced changes to its voluntary burn mechanism on terra classic lunic trading fees reducing lunic burning by 50 percent in an update made on Wednesday, Binance revealed that as part of the changes to the Lunic burn, it will now burn 50% of all Lunic spot and margin trading fees as opposed to the previous 100% effective December 28th. Other changes will see Binance delay the next batch of Lunic burns to March 1st, 2023 from its previous date of January 1st, 2023. According to Binance, the delay is part of the token remits in response to Terra Classic's proposal 10.983 and 11.111. Binance said it had reached one of Terra out to the Terra Grant Foundation to make necessary changes. Binance will create a new burn wallet to prevent the reminting of Lunic tokens. The exchange will also look to have its Lunic wallet whitelisted to prevent tax from transferring between these wallets. However, Binance may stop Lunic burning entirely if the changes are not made. The Binance announcement comes just after Lunic rallied 50% in the last few days due to a breakout above the three month descending channel. So if you are interested in how to vote for the community governance, you can take yourself over to station.terra.money. I would Google it, but this is definitely where you would vote 
for the way that this project moves forward so that's what i have for you guys today thank you for each and every one of you guys for watching if you guys want more lunatic content drop a like on this video let me know in the comments and i will catch you in the next one